Hello, Lion Cubs. It's Mr. Flores, and it's fun with science. And I know this is the video you guys were waiting to see, because if you remember last week, I told you we're going to make, there it is, slime. Right, right, right. So I'm going to show you slime today, how we're going to do that, and, um, you know, how, how, how much fun it is. Now, I got to tell you a little story here. I just filmed a slime video for you guys, but then I watched it over, and then I realized I forgot one of the most important steps because, look, look, I made it right here. This is the other one I made, just the last video. I mean, literally, like, two minutes ago. I just got done watching the video, right? And I watched it, and I saw the ending, and I thought, oh, my goodness, I forgot one of the most important steps. Which, just in case, I forgot to put it in a bag. <laughs> so I thought, oh, well, I better make some more then. I'm going to shoot a video and I got to make sure to say, put it in a bag. So we're going to do, I'm going to do it again. And you're only going to see the one time though. But we're going to make some more slime. So that's why my board's a little messy. My bowl's a little messy, but hey, it's slime. So before I start today, for the parents, parents, if you're watching your child, or you just helped them load up this video, this is Mr. Flores' indoor warning because this is fun. It will probably get messy. Messy fun is good fun. You're going to have fun with this. They're going to have fun making it, but there's a good chance it's going to get messy. I mean, this is my mess, and, well, I'm a little older than that. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's make some slime. So today, as we get started making slime, the first thing we're going to use is glue. Elmer's school glue seems to be the way to go. It's worked well for me, and I'm going to do it. How much glue do we put in? How much slime do you want? That's the question. So let's put a good amount in there. La, la, la. Oh, this is going to be interesting because I have some leftover red, which is pink, and then I'm going to put another color in, so I don't know what it's going to turn into. Okay, so we got that. I made the blue. I made the red, which came out pink. Hmm, I guess. Ooh, I wonder. Do we go... Yellow or green? Yellow, green. Over here? Over here? Okay, let's try. We already got one color. I don't know. Let's try them both. Just because. Because this will be my last time filming the slime. I'm going to get it right this time. Here we go. So we got it, right? And then you see an amount of glue that we poured in? We're going to pour water in there too. Ooh, look at that. And then we stir. And then we mix. Mix it all in. Oh, the green's really taking over. That's okay. Okay. Now, we've got stirred up like that. So now our next step. We need to work on, we're going to use borax detergent. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, Mr. Flora, you can use starch. You can use... I don't know that stuff you put in your eyes I forgot what they call it um, when you wear the, the contact lenses but this is the this is the way Mr. Flores has learned because way back when Mr. Flores used to work in a laboratory and we used to use chemicals and we could make it and I've never really made it with this type of stuff before so this is now my fourth time I'm doing this and two out of three been good all right so we're on a roll two in a row actually so this is number three and we're gonna go for three in a row three in a row here we go I'm going to use borax detergent. You can find this in the, in the um, grocery store where all the detergents are. Now, there is borax detergent in, like, other powder detergents you use. And it, will it work? I'm not sure. Maybe. Hey, it's science. You could try. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But, you know, it's totally up to you. And if you can get some. It's, you know, a few dollars. Pick it up. So what we're going to do first, this is my measuring cup. And it holds four and a half cups of whatever I put in here. We only need one cup, so I'm going to do that right now. So let me measure it out here. One cup of water. See that? There we go. Good. Okay. Working hard for you guys. Then, after we do that, one big scoop. Four acts of turkey. Okay. And stir. Stir it up. Stir it good. Stir it so it dissolves with the water. When you look in there, you shouldn't see any powder. It's just kind of like, all right, there it is. Now, 
This is now sodium tetraborate. This is what's going to make those molecules in there go, whoa, and they're going to start to grab, hold hands. So let's pour it in. When they start to hold hands, they're going to get sticky. Here, watch. We'll mix it. Like that. All right. And you stir it up as much as you can. And then we're going to put a little more in there. Now, here's where it's going to get fun. Here comes the fun part. Parents, this is, once again, an indoor warning. Indoor warning. This is fun. It could be messy. Fun and messy. Don't do this over the new carpet or the new furniture. If you can't go outside and do it, do it, or do it somewhere where there's tile or something, okay? Easy clean. So here we go. Once we do that, it's time to start mixing. First, I'll go one hand. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. All right. And we're going to squeeze it out. You know what? One hand's good. Two's better. So now here we go. Squeezing it. And what you're doing is you're squeezing it. You want to kind of like squeeze all that fluid out. There we go. Let's just get it out. Oh, there we go. More. Let me move you guys a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Oh. It's alive. Here we go. Oh. We might have put too much in there, but we'll just have to squeeze it out. When it gets too watery, the more you can just squeeze in is the better. <laughs> this is a messy one. Look at that. Wow. This one's going to take a while because it feels a little bit too watery. I might have put too much water in, but you can feel it as it starts to dry. <laughs> Whoa. That is good. Sometimes if it, get, if it gets too watery, you break it apart in pieces, in sections. And let it sit a little bit. It then becomes easier to control. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. See? Woo! Look at this one. We'll pick up the next section. Put it all together and mold it. Let it become one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. More slime. Woo! Okay. Now, slime. A lot of kids like this. It's their favorite science because slime is what we call, who remembers? What did I say last week? When you get molecules, you stick them together and they stretch out. What do we call that? Rubber band? No. Scrunchy. No. And say polymer. Polymer. That's right. It's a polymer. So a polymer is when molecules, they get together. Hey, how's it going? Come over here. Come over here. Come here. Come here. And then they're sitting around. And then you pour the sodium tetraboyte on them, and they go, ah, and they start to hold hands. And as they start to hold hands, then they can start to stretch out. And polymers stretch just like this. So that means anything you use that stretches is a polymer. Rubber bands, scrunchies, elastic, any sort of bands, or even some toys that you have if you have slime, okay? So, once you've got it all, slime is made, you are ready to take it home. Now, here's the snap I forgot last video. Gotta remember, once you're all done with it, put it in a plastic bag. And we drop it in like so, and it's good to go. 
Whenever you're not using it, just keep it in the bag. And you can use it any time. But remember, polymers, my friends, okay? A polymer is a chain, is a chain of molecules that are able to stretch. And let's see, you could write about it. First, I poured glue into a bowl. Then, I put food coloring and water in and stirred. Next, I poured sodium borate into the bowl. Last, I squeezed it out. I squeezed it out until I finally got slime with a picture. I just did your writing assignment for you right there. All you got to do is write it out. Do your best job of spelling. Maybe you might add more to it. It feels like it's able to stretch this far. I don't know. Draw me pictures. TK, Kinder, I love your picture. I love seeing your pictures and watching you guys write the words. First grade, I just did your step-by-step -step writing for you. Let's see. Can you write it out for me? Give me good handwriting with a pretty picture. Also, I love all of the videos I've seen. They've been so cool. It makes me so happy to see that you're doing it. And even better when you do it with your parents and you both have fun. All right, friends. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you on Friday. TK at kindergarten, 12 o'clock, first grade, 1 o'clock, second grade at 2. Bye.